And the love made Clifford to grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog It's your turn to be the car, and I'll be the stoplight. Great. Can I help you, Sheriff Lewis? I need some moving boxes, Pedro. Boxes? Do you have any old packing crates or boxes I could use? Sure do. So you and T-Bone are really moving, huh? <gasps> moving? Yep. We're moving tomorrow. T-Bone's moving tomorrow. I've got to tell Clifford. We're only moving a couple of blocks, a little closer to the sheriff's station, you know? We're just glad you're not moving off of Birdwell Island. Oh, no, we'd never do that. Clifford, Clifford, T-Bone is leaving Birdwell Island. <gasps> what? T-Bone, our friend, is moving off Birdwell Island tomorrow. I don't think so, Cleo. It's true. I just heard Sheriff Lewis say it with my own ears. But why didn't T-Bone tell us? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to upset us. Wow. Poor T-Bone's been acting so happy, and all the time he knew he was moving. That's just like our T-Bone, sweet little guy. Well, if T-Bone doesn't want us to know, we have to pretend like we don't. Okay, Cleo? Oh, but we can't just let him go without a special goodbye. You're right. So let's make today T-Bone's big day. We'll make his last day on the island the best day of his life. T-Bone, it's so wonderful to see you. Uh, yeah, it's great to see you too, Clifford. Hey, Cleo, are we gonna play with your hedgehog toy today? Sure, only it isn't my toy anymore. <gasps> it isn't? I want you to have it. Eh, well, something to remember me by. Oh, in, in case you ever forget her. Well, okay. Thanks, Cleo. I know this is your most favorite toy in the whole wide world. <sighs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so 
So, what do you want to do today, T? Uh, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Anything you want to do, T-Bone. Really? Well, um, okay. Um, let's go to the butcher shop. Well, it looks like I've got company. Hungry company. Here you go, guys. Welcome, Clifford. <laughs> Yum! This is great! What's this, Clifford? I want you to have it, T-Bone. Why? It's just that you love bones so much, and who knows when you might get another one. Well, uh, okay, thanks. This is really big. Come and help me eat it, big guy. Oh, thanks, T-Bone. You too, Cleo. Feels good. You know, T-Bone, the sun shines everywhere. Even on places not on the island. Not that you'll ever not be on the island, T-Bone. Yeah, I guess. So what's next, T-Bone? If you could do anything in the world today, anything at all, what would you want to do? I don't know. Play tag? But isn't there anything really special that you've always wanted to do? Special? Something you might not be able to do someplace else? Well, there is one thing. I've always wanted to fly! <laughs> Go, T-Bone! This is so great! I love it! Look out! I'm coming in for a landing! <sighs> now that was really special. Thanks, Clifford. You're really welcome, T-Bone. I'll always remember you like this, T-Bone. Always. Uh, what's going on, guys? How come you're being so nice to me? We're always nice to you, T-Bone. Do you guys know something I don't know? Do you know something that you think we don't know? No, I don't know something that I think that you don't know that I know I don't think. Hey, guys, let's go up to the lighthouse and take one last look at the island together. Great idea, Clifford. Last one, there's a rotten dog biscuit. What does he mean, one last look? We used to have some great times on Birdwell Island. Used to? Yeah, we sure did. Digging in the sand together. Remember how T-Bone loved to eat? Remember that day we ate all those doggy doodle dog treats? Or the time T-Bone almost beat Mac in a big race? Wait a minute, guys. How come you keep talking about the way things used to be? Because everything's gonna change after tomorrow. It is? We know, T-Bone. Know what? That you're moving, T-Bone. We know that you're moving tomorrow. We know. 
Yeah, so? So? We'll never see you again. <laughs> Why not? We're just moving down the street. Down the street? Down the street. Yeah, Sheriff Lewis wants to be closer to the sheriff's station, so we're moving down the street. He's moving down the street. He's moving down the street, baby. Yes, T-Bone's moving down the street. What's the matter with you guys? We thought you were moving off of Birdwell Island, T-Bone. What made you think that? Well, <laughs> I heard Sheriff Lewis say you were moving, and I thought he meant you were moving far away. I guess we just didn't get the whole story, T-Bone. Next time, I think I'll make sure I get all the information before I start passing it around. We're sorry we were acting so strange, T. Don't be sorry, guys. This was a great day. It was? Yeah. I mean, I know you guys like me and everything, but... Today, you really made me feel like a special friend. That's because you are a special friend. A very special friend. Uh, by the way, T-Bone, uh, since you're not really leaving the island, can I have my hedgehog toy back? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and the Spiffy Yard. One sunny afternoon, Speckle's friends asked him to play ball. Speckle said he'd love to, but first he had to clean the yard. It looked like a lot of work. Speckle laughed. He didn't think it was work at all. Then he strapped two brushes to the bottom of his feet and skated his front walk clean. It looked like so much fun, everyone wanted to try. So Darnell and Luna skipped across the yard using their jump ropes to make leaves scatter into a pile. Robbie skateboarded along the fence with a paintbrush. Speckle pushed Reba on a swing, and she wiped the windows clean. Speckle and his friends made the work so much fun, before they knew it, the job was done. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> His toys. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till Cleo and Clifford get here. We're gonna have so much fun. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, no. 
Dogs aren't supposed to have cats in their yard. What would Clifford and Cleo say? I think he wants to play with us. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Say that. We've got to do something to make them go away. What? I've always heard that cats hate dogs. <laughs> so if we just bark at them real loud, they'll run away. Mm, I don't know, Cleo. Have I ever steered you wrong? I wish you wouldn't ask me that. Well, it's worth a try. Everyone knows that. So, we just have to get these cats to chase a mouse right out of T-Bone's backyard. Yeah, sounds like a pretty good idea. Mm, but where do we get a mouse? or something. Squeak. It's a mouse. Oh, no. A big mouse. Uh, very good. <laughs> Great show. Are they coming down to chase me? Not exactly. <laughs> They're clapping? Well, at least they know talent when they see it. Okay, you guys, we are dogs, those are cats. We're supposed to 
to make them leave. Are you sure dogs have to get rid of cats? That's what I've always heard. Of course it's true. Just like it's true that all cats hate water. Uh-huh. That's definitely true. I've heard lots of people say that. It's too bad it isn't raining. That would scare those cats away. Yeah. There's not a cloud in the sky. Hmm. Hmm. could make a pretend rain. How? How? I'll show you. Okay, you guys, I'm ready to make it rain. Here it comes. Those cats are gonna hate Some sort of water game, I think. Oh, boy! I love water! <laughs> hey, where's the water, Clifford? I turned it on. Full blast! I think it's stuck. <laughs> Here it comes! Whoa! Somebody turn it off! Yeah, turn it off! Uh, they need help! Let's turn it off for them. Come on, this way! Oh, watch it! Oh, no, that way! Someone turned it off. The cats did it. Who? Hi, I'm Betty. I'm Billy. You turned off the water? We heard the cats hate water. Really? Betty and I love water. Wow, I guess we heard wrong. Wait a minute. I'm not so sure these guys are cats. Cats chase mice. So how come you two didn't chase the mouse that was in the yard? <laughs> First of all, we knew it was you, Cleo. And second of all, not all cats chase mice. We never do. Unless they ask us to, like, if we're playing tag or something. Well, I've always heard the cats are afraid of dogs. We are? Especially when we bark. Ruff! <laughs> That's not scary. We love it when you do that. Yeah, it looks like fun. Gosh, you two aren't at all like we thought you were. Yeah, I guess we should get to know you before we decide what you're like. Yeah, every cat is different. Just like every dog is different. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so if you're not scared of dogs, and you don't chase mice, and you don't hate water, what do you do? We like to play. Especially Tag. Tag? That's one of our favorites, too. Then let's play. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. All right. I'll be it. Here I come. It's important to always tell the truth. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I love my new bird bath. Cleo, where are you? Whoa! <laughs> oh no, I broke it. <gasps> what happened? Uh, I don't know. Clifford did it. Clifford, you broke my bird bath. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. T-Bone said so. He didn't break it, Cleo. I did. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. How can I trust you if you lie to me, T-Bone? You made me yell at Clifford, and he didn't even do anything. 
something. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm going to tell the truth right from the start. Sometimes it's really hard, but telling the truth is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. Looks like Cleo, but it's not. Are you sure? Maybe she just got a haircut or a new bow. Or maybe not. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Me? Oh, um, I'm great. Really? Because you look like you could use a little help. Huh? Oh, I sit like this all the time. <laughs> Let me help you. Mimi! Come on, sweetie. Your name's Mimi? Uh-huh. What's yours? I'm T-Bone. Come on, Mimi. The Birdwell Hotel bus is here. Oh, I better go. It was nice to meet you, T-Bone. Yeah, and nice to meet you, too. Mimi. Oh, what a great name. There she is. There's Cleo. Hey, Clifford! Hi, Cleo. How was the trip? Well, you know Mrs. Diller. She always gets seasick. Hey, where's T-Bone? He was just here a minute ago. There he is! <laughs> he looks a little seasick, too. Are you okay, T-Bone? Huh? Oh! Hi, Cleo! I just met the most beautiful dog in the world. <laughs> oh, thank you. But we met before. Her name is Mimi. <laughs> She's staying at the Birdwell Hotel with a human. You met a new dog, T? Gee, I'd like to meet her, too. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's all go to the Birdwell Hotel and meet Mimi. I know a shortcut. Okay. Easy. Sorry. I didn't know your shortcut was so muddy, Cleo. Ew. Yuck. Hi, Mimi. T-Bone. What are you doing here? I, I want you to meet my friends. Oh, my <gasps> goodness. That dog is filthy. Come on away from there, Mimi. 
So that's Mimi, huh? Yeah! Isn't she wonderful? Oh, no! No wonder she wouldn't talk to me. I'm a mess! She doesn't care about that, T. I think she likes you. I don't know. She probably meets all kinds of really good-looking dogs. Why would she like me? Because you're a really great dog. I just wish I looked a little better. Well, if it's just the new look you want, I could take care of that. Could you? Would you? Sure. Just leave everything to me. Um, I don't know. Have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> Trust me, T-Bone. Mimi's gonna love your new look. Rinse. So, how do I look? Uh, well... Wait, hold on, we're not finished yet. Get my blow dry, big guy. of my special styling magic. And the master will go to work. Hey! Ouch! No, no, no. Whoa! The... Oh, would you all still T-Bone? Well, Clifford, what do you think? Uh, I think Mimi likes T-Bone just the way he is. Uh, was. Well, she's gonna like him even better now, cause T-Bone is one good-looking puppy. Oh, yeah! One good-looking puppy! Mimi, this is so exciting. I've always wanted to photograph sea turtles hatching. I... Mm. You know, maybe I should use my other lens. Yeah, I'll be right back. You know, T, you can't just look the look. You also gotta walk the walk and talk the talk. Right. Uh, okay, I'm cool. Oh, yeah, that's me. Cool, cool T. Close enough. Hey, Mimi. What's up, girl? Huh? Cool T is in town. Oh, yeah, that's me. Careful of the turtle eggs. I'm not laughing at you, T-Bone. It's just... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, shoo! Leave those turtles alone! Get away! Go on! Go! Go! I don't think that look works for me, Cleo. Why don't you just be yourself? Uh, no! You have any other ideas, Cleo? Well, you heard the way she was laughing at you, right? Yeah, I heard. Making people laugh is great. You just have to learn how to do it on purpose. How can he do that? He can tell her a few jokes, like this one. What do you get when you cross a cocker spaniel, a poodle, and a rooster? Wait, I know this one. A cock a poodle do. <laughs> <laughs> Do. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm gonna go tell that joke to Mimi. <laughs> hey, Cleo, shouldn't T-Bone have practiced that joke first? Nah, how hard can it be to tell a joke? Go ahead, T-Bone. I love jokes. Oh, okay, you're gonna love this. Okay. Here it goes. Uh, um, what do you get when you cross a cocker spaniel, a poodle, and a rooster? I don't know. A poodle doodle dock. <laughs> a what? No, that's not it. Well, wait, uh, a papa koodle do. A uh, uh, poo poo cock a poo. Uh. Come on, Mimi, let's go. Gotta go. See you later, T Boom. Wait. It's a, a Paco Doodle Coo! A Poodle Dockadoo? Dooku Poodle Poo? Poodle Poodle Poo? I may not be able to tell a good joke, Cleo, 
but I know I could do this. When she hears your poetry, she's gonna be putty in your paws. Clifford, knock on a window for me, will ya? Okay. <laughs> Who's there? Mimi, my dear, it is T-Bone. Oh, hi, T-Bone. Oh, fair Mimi. I've come to share a poem with you. <laughs> oh, T-Bone, how cute. Cute? I'm not supposed to be cute. Hey, take what you can get. Just say your poem. All right. <clears throat> Bark, what dog in yonder window doth sit? It is Mimi, such a pretty name that, uh, doth sit. <laughs> See how she leans her nose on the sill and looks out? Seeing such prettiness makes me want to shout. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! What is that racket? T-Boom. Shh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Quiet down there! I guess Mimi is never going to like me. Go on and find her, T-Bone. You should say goodbye. I don't know, Clifford. I don't think she'd care if I said goodbye or not. Yes, I would. Mimi? You know, T-Bone, all those things you did for me were great. They were? Uh-huh. But you really didn't have to do any of them. I like you, just the way you are. Wow, thanks. Mimi? Uh-oh, gotta go. But we'll be back in a month to photograph the dogs of Birdwell Island. Great! Then I'll see you in a month! Mimi, come! Goodbye, T-Bone. Goodbye, Mimi. She likes me! She likes me! She really likes me! Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, T-Bone. So, she'll be back in a month, huh? Imagine the changes we could make to you in a month, T. We don't need to change a thing. and the luscious lunch. It was time to eat, so Speckle and his friends unpacked their lunches. Everyone had packed their favorite food. They all brought the same food almost every day. Then Speckle wondered, what if they took their favorite lunches and shared them to make something totally new? Everyone thought that sounded like fun. So Reba rolled her salad in Luna's tortillas to make very veggie burritos. Speckle layered his jelly sandwich with Ravi's yogurt to make scrumptious striped pudding. Darnell and Luna combined their cheese and apples into fruity, cheesy chunks. The new creations were all so yummy, the friends decided to try new things more often and share them with each other. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Clifford's Big Heart. Emily Elizabeth? Nothing yet, but when I fold it over, I cut 
love it. It makes a big red valentine heart. Wow, very cool. Woof. Clifford likes it too. I'm going to make a really amazing valentine for my mom. With tons of glitter and stuff. Woof, 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 woof. Clifford! St stop it! Stop! <laughs> You really are making an amazing <laughs> valentine, Jetta. She's not making one. She is one. Oh, Clifford! Don't be mad, Jetta. You look pretty. I do? Yeah. Your mom would love to get a pretty valentine like you. <laughs> True. But a person can't really be a valentine. A valentine has to be big and red and full of hearts and stuff. That's the way to show someone you really love them. Come on, guys. Let's go give these out. Then we can come back and make some more. Okay. Let's go! Wow, this Valentine thing sounds great. I've got to find Emily Elizabeth something big and red. Biggest, reddest thing on Birdwell Island. Hey, Clifford, buddy. Could you put me down a minute? Afraid I can't go anywhere with you today, big guy. I got work to do. See you later. Hey, Clifford. What's going on? I was just trying to bring that big red truck to Emily Elizabeth. Why? For Valentine's Day. I don't get it. I heard Jetta say that the best Valentines are big and red. Ah, so you were trying to get her a big red truck? Right. Well, you got the big and red part right, Clifford. But I don't think Emily Elizabeth wants a truck. Really? Well, what else could I give her that's big and red? Hmm. Big and red. Big and red. Um... Hey! What? What should I give her? I don't know. But why don't I show you what I'm giving Mrs. Diller? And maybe that'll help you think of something for Emily Elizabeth. Okay. Follow me. Hi, Clifford. What's Cleo doing? She's going to show me the valentine she made for Mrs. Diller. Really big and really red. Yeah. I made it out of all those yucky bows Mr. Kibble keeps putting in my hair. I'm going to try to find something like that for Emily. Finding a big red valentine for Emily should be easy. Yeah? Sure. Why don't you just give her a... Uh, uh, let me think. Big and red. Big and red. Gosh, I guess it's not that easy to find something after all. You know, if we just find something red, like my bows, we could make it into something big. Great idea, Cleo. And I know just the thing. Use dog food. Whoa! See, it's kind of red, and it's good too. It's not for eating, T Bone. We're gonna use 
need to make Emily's Valentine. Oh, then let's get busy. Clifford? Yeah, it does. Wait a minute. What happened to this corner? <laughs> sea bone <laughs> Sorry. Hey, guys, look at the birds. Wow, it looks like a heart. I think they're gonna land. They landed on my valentine. They're eating my valentine. They ate my valentine. Not all of it. <laughs> well, I guess that valentine was for the birds. Now what am I going to get, Emily Elizabeth? Don't worry, big guy. There's got to be something around here that's big and red. Yeah, big and red. Big and red. Big and red. I give up. Me too. Oh, well. Thanks anyway, guys. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look at that. Emily Elizabeth loves flowers. Where are you gonna find roses, Clifford? Mr. Bleakman has lots of them. Emily Elizabeth will love those, Clifford. But won't Mr. Bleakman be mad when he finds out you took them from his backyard? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh! Uh-oh. What happened to my rose bush? I was growing those roses for Violet's Valentine's Day bouquet. <laughs> Violet! Violet! Come quick! Oh no, I shouldn't have taken Mr. Bleakman's roses. I'm gonna put them right back. Good idea. Honestly, Horace, a rose bush just can't get up and walk away. I tell you, Violet, I came out to cut some roses for your Valentine's Day bouquet, and it was... Huh? But, 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 but... You're going to give me a bouquet of roses from your favorite bush? <laughs> Aren't you a sweetheart? Come on, my little Valentine. Let's go get the rose clippers, and we'll cut a bouquet together. Give up. Whoa! <gasps> Don't worry, Clifford. Emily knows you love her. But today is the day you're supposed to show it with something big and red. Oh, Clifford! Look at you! You're a big red valentine! Woof! Perfect Valentine. I 
love you, Clifford. Happy Valentine's Day. Woof, woof, woof. Clifford and I know that everyone could use a helping hand now and then. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Oh no, I can't find it anywhere. Hey, T-Bone, I was just on my way over to Clifford's house. Wanna come? <clears throat> no thanks. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, sorry, Cleo. It's just that I buried a bone here yesterday and now I can't find it. Can I help? Sure, thanks. Hey, guys, what you doing? I'm looking for a bone I buried. And I'm helping. Let me help, too. Found it. You did find it. You're the best friends a dog could ever have. When you help someone, you really make them feel good. And you make yourself feel pretty good, too. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Just the cutest little thing in the world. What a sweet little puppy you are. Huh? Such a sweet little girl. My sister's new puppy, and we're babysitting. <laughs> Isn't she just adorable, Cleo? Go on, Cleo, play with her. Scared her, Cleo. Susie, come here, sweetie. 
I wonder how long Susie is going to stay. Come on out from under there, Susie. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Cleo, stop. Cleo, you know you can't fit under there. <laughs> Go on, Cleo. Play with her. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Okay, you two. Settle down. Come here! Come on, come on! Cleo, sit! <laughs> Good girl. I'm gonna put you outside, then maybe I can get Susie to calm down a little. There. Now let me get to that little puppy girl. <laughs> that was fun! Susie, where are you, sweetie? Wait a minute. How come I'm outside and Susie gets to stay inside with Mrs. Diller? I mean, it is my house. Wow. She sure is cute, isn't she? Hey, Cleo. What you looking at? Oh, hi, guys. Go ahead and see for yourself. Looks like a puppy. A puppy? Yeah, a really cute puppy. We're babysitting. Ugh, babysitting? Yeah, but she's so cute. What if Mrs. Diller decides she likes her more than me? You really think she'd do that? Of course she wouldn't. She loves you, Cleo. But what if she likes Susie more? She won't. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, isn't she adorable? She really is cute. Hey, cuter than me? Ah, uh, no, never as cute as you are. Right. You're cuter than cute. You're super cute. <laughs> oh, you are the cutest puppy I've ever seen. Yes, you are. Well, if it's cute she wants, it's cute she's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to play too, huh, Cleo? <laughs> oh, oh, how sweet. She wants to play with you, Cleo. <laughs> I knew she still loved Cleo. <laughs> pull that rope right out of your mouth. Cleo, you know that Susie is only a puppy. She's not as strong as you are. Hmm? It's okay, baby. You come into the house with me. What happened? I thought I was adorable. Maybe puppies get to do things that big dogs don't get to do. And big dogs get to do things that puppies can't. I can do anything that puppy can do, and I can do it better. Just watch me. Oh, would you look at the face on? Isn't she cute? Oh, can I just pet her just once, please? Oh, how sweet. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what a cute dog. She's cute, all right, but she's also a handful. <laughs> Wait 
whether they see me playing in the water. Oh, I don't know, Cleo. Humans don't like the way we smell when we get wet. Yeah, I don't get it. I think we smell great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how I smell. I'm gonna go show them how playing with water is really done. Oh, so funny! <laughs> Did you hear them laughing? They love me. I gotta show them some more. But Cleo, the sprinkler stopped. That's why we have to make our own sprinklers. Cleo! Come here right now. She probably wants to tell me how great I am at playing in water. <laughs> I guess. This time, I'm gonna shake and get Susie wet. She'll love that. Come on, Cleo, come. Cleo, stop! Goodness, what's gotten into you today? You know I don't like it when you dogs get all wet. I expect this kind of thing from Susie, Cleo. She's just a baby. But you're my big girl. You should know better. I know you're sorry, sweetie. Let's go get you two dried off now. Come on, baby. Let's go home. Okay, I finally figured it out, guys. What, Cleo? I think Mrs. Diller loves Susie more than me because she's a baby. So, I'm gonna be a baby too. How are you gonna do that? If you can't beat them, join them. At dinner, I'm gonna make the biggest mess I can. And then after dinner, I'm gonna chew up some shoes. And then... <gasps> hmm? You're gonna chew up shoes? Sure, just like when I was a baby. And then I'm gonna tug on Mrs. Diller's pant leg. Uh, I don't think that sounds like such a good idea, Cleo. I mean, what if Mrs. Diller doesn't think it's cute? Yeah, I mean, Susie really is a baby. She doesn't know any better. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Susie. You come visit your auntie anytime, okay? Bye-bye. Hey, Susie's going home. Maybe things will be okay now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, there's my big girl. You know, Cleo, it's a lot of fun having a baby puppy around. <laughs> but little Susie still has a lot to learn. She's lucky she has a nice big cousin like you to teach her how to be a big grown-up dog. I hope Susie grows up to be just like you someday, Cleo. Because <laughs> I think you're a wonderful girl. And I love you. On the hottest day anyone could remember, Speckle and his friends just couldn't stay cool. Not even in the waiting pool. Everyone wanted to play and have fun, but it was just too hot to do their favorite things. Then, Speckle thought of a way they could play and stay cool. He brought over some ice cubes and plopped them in the pool then started a game of Catch the Cube. Then, twirling the garden hose, Speckle made a water jump rope. Soon, the grass was all wet and slippery. And 
Speckle led the way in a water slide across the yard. <laughs> Giggling and joyful, the friends all agreed. Speckle's new way of playing was totally cool. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Wally, this is Clifford. Wally is our classroom bunny. And every Friday, someone gets to take him home for the weekend. <laughs> Isn't he cute? You should see him at school, Clifford. Sometimes we let him out of the cage, and he hops and bounces all over the room. Wally is a lot of work, Clifford. <laughs> he sure loves his carrots. I have to help Mom at the store this afternoon, Clifford, so I'd like you to stay here and keep Wally company. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. Keep an eye on him, okay? <laughs> Looking after you won't be any trouble at all, Wally. Hey, Clifford! Hi, guys! Come on, let's go down to the beach. Yeah, I'm in the mood to bark at some waves. Sounds like fun. Then let's go. Wait, I can't. I'm keeping an eye on Wally. Who's Wally? That's Wally. That's the funniest looking dog I've ever seen. Who stretched his ears out like that? Wally's not a dog, he's a rabbit. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. oh. So you're spending the day with a rabbit, huh? Yep. Emily says he's a lot of work, but so far all he's done is sit there in his cage. Hey, maybe we should take him out and play with him. Emily says Wally likes to hop all over. He'd probably be lots of fun to play with. I don't know. What if he hops away? Then we just hop after him. He looks like a pretty fast hopper. Don't worry, T-Bone. We can keep up with him. Then what are we waiting for? Let's play with Wally. Why isn't he hopping, Clifford? Maybe his hopper is broken. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow, he really can hop fast. We'd better follow him. There he is. <laughs> Wait up. He went in that log. In here, in here. I'll get him. Can you see Wally T? Yep. Can you get him out? No. Why not? I'm stuck. 
Try it, Cleo? Sure. Later, Cleo. We have to follow Wally. Right. I think he went that away. We'll be able to see Wally better from up here on the hill. See him. Maybe you're not high enough. How about if you and T-Bone climb on my head and look? No problem, big guy. Do you see Wally? I don't see him, Clifford. Nope. No Wally around. Wow, keeping an eye on Wally is a little harder than I thought. There you are, Wally. Wait! Wait! Where did he go? Gosh, he's fast. I'm all hopped out, guys. Where could he be? I don't see him anywhere. What we need to do is think like a rabbit. Now, if I were a rabbit, what would I do? How about you, Clifford? If I were a rabbit, hmm. I bet I know where he is. Some place where there are lots of carrots. Well, there he is. Yep, just like you said, Clifford. Some place with lots of carrots. He sure does love his vegetables. He's never gonna leave here. And he's too fast for us to catch and carry home. Besides, I'm too tired to chase him anymore. Well. Maybe we can't catch Wally, but we can catch a carrot. Huh? huh? Come on, I've got an idea. Great idea, big guy. 
Yep. Good thinking, Clifford. Thanks, guys. I'm just glad it's working. I'll give him the carrot when we get home. Such a cute little bunny could be so much work. Yeah, he wore me out. I wish we'd never let him out of the cage. Hey, Clifford. Did your friends help you keep Wally company today? Ah! Isn't he the sweetest little bunny? Thanks for keeping an eye on him, Clifford. You're a big help. I feel kind of bad, though, leaving Wally cooped up in that cage all afternoon. Hey, I've got an idea. How about if I let Wally out to play with you guys while I clean out his cage? I'm sure he'll be fine. After all, how much trouble could a cute little bunny be? when we're asked to do something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what I'll do. Look, there's Mac now. Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then... I guess I better go get it. Yay! Yeah! All right! Yay! Yay! Being responsible means others can trust you to do what you promised to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on, and that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. <laughs> <laughs> 